food banks. Deprivation. Not having access to certain resources that make life livable. For me, poverty means no money. I think that it means many different things and that that will also be different to different people. Said in one in every five people is living in poverty in the UK. One in five. Well, that doesn't really surprise me. There's five of us in here. I'm the one on camera, so <laughs> I guess I must be that one. Uh, fun times. <laughs> I grew up in an actually affluent part of Glasgow. I knew we were poor because I was hungry a lot. I had to have cardboard in my shoes when there was a hole. My husband walked out. I ended up uh, with just my pension and no other income. For me, uh, I became homeless at the age of 17. Two months after my dad died, I didn't have any income. When you don't have money, you don't have control over your life. I have to prioritise a lot. I can't just plan a normal day. I can't even plan to definitely meet somebody in a week's time because I might have no money left by then. Your life is more about surviving, like getting through each day as opposed to actually just enjoying things that you're doing. I don't know what is luxury anymore. Everything is luxury when I have food in my house and if my son is happy, this is luxury for me. I've got to make the decision to either eat or not. A basic element of survival in life and I can't choose that on a daily basis. It's constant, it's every day. It's always, have I got enough money in my account to feed my son for the month, um, clothing for the month, you know, something like a birthday comes up that messes totally with your budget. The bills are coming, electricity, gas, water bill, council tax, and then you pay for a school lunch. The sports club of school is 20 pounds, which I can't afford. And I feel like I'm unable to be a good parent for him. I'm in a situation now, however, where the council is forcing me to move. They're going to put me on universal credit, which means that I will have to wait before I get any help with rent. I'm not sure how I'm going to make out with that. At 72, no one is going to employ me. So I think my options as far as in increasing my income are just not there. If I'm lucky, I'll have a shift a week. That's 78 pounds, take out travel and food, it, it don't work. How, how can I live off that? When people ask me, what do you do? And the easiest answer is, what do I do? I, do. I work with, as a nanny. Myself and my son have just ended up hiring bouncy castles out. I'm also a full-time student, and it doesn't seem to matter how hard I try. I never really feel like I'm getting anywhere. Poverty is frustrating. It seems as if you're fighting against a tide, and the tide is always running against you. I'm being dragged so far, I'm surprised I'm not underwater already. It's draining, it's physically draining. There are days I struggle to get out of bed even. Having poor mental health traps you into cycles of poverty that you feel that you have no way out of. Cuts to certain services um, has had an definitely had an impact in how people are supported. I believe that public services are there to keep you safe, protected, and provide your basic needs. You know, you pay into it in your good times, so that should you fall on hard times, that you can actually take back from that. I know that economically it doesn't have to be this way, and I feel very much that there's much more as a society that we could be doing to change things. It is never right to be living in poverty. It is never right, and especially for children. It's inhuman. It's not right. I think we all need to be a lot more compassionate. The world doesn't work without compassion. Yeah, I feel like people kind of judge, you know, and say that you're not responsible, that you, you haven't got a clue. I have a few different health conditions and disabilities, so as soon as I open my eyes in the morning, I have to assess how much pain I'm in. I'm sure that there's big sections of the population that just think we need to try harder to get out of poverty. Like, I wish it was that simple, so mm. much, I really do. I'm smiling while I'm saying it, but like, <laughs> I am crying inside. Like, I wish it was that simple. I want my son to be an astronaut, but is he able to do that? He need to be emotionally, physically capable. If he's getting enough food, his mental health is healthy. I always live in hope. 
I have lived in hope for as long as I can remember. And I think you have to hang on to the hope that you can find. I will step back sometimes and go, I've had enough, I'm not doing any more. And then I have to think, no, you can't stop. You've got to keep going. I would say that for anybody living in poverty, I don't think there's any shame in it at all. There's quite a lot of strength and quite a lot of bravery to continue pushing through, through, through a situation like that.